gosh, you guys, I'm loving this skirt from Mosquino. <laughs> I could never imagine wearing it with this bra top, but like, isn't this just so adorable? I don't know, like, with it, this, with this t-shirt, like, it's just so, so cute, tucked in. Oh my God, for like a really hot, cute summer look, I love it. So I'm in the bay in Vancouver and I haven't been in here for years and it's just like dead. And it's, it's very honestly depressing because, so we just found out Nordstrom is shutting. And um, so I'm in the room in the bay. Anyways, this is just like a sign of the times. There is nobody in here, it's completely dead. They have sales, they actually have a lot of sales. And um, yeah, it's just like, it's crazy actually how there's like nobody in here. And I ha I've been in here for like an hour and I haven't been filming and then I figured I'd just start filming for you guys. But I, I am about to leave. <laughs> um, I was really curious if they have Casablanca because Casablanca stuff is just killing it. But I don't see any Casablanca. But it's actually crazy how there's like no one around really. If you're in Holt Renfrew, it's not like that. So I'll show you guys this dress I've seen. This is really cute by Moschino, this teddy bear sweater. But it's like limited selection left. But look at the sale. It's literally like 60% off, up to 60% off. Buy one, get one free. Look at this um, dress by Anderson Bell. Isn't this the cutest? So this is the back. And this is the front. It's the last one left, so it's not my size, but I think that's like really, really cute. Um, I didn't look at the size. Yeah, it's a size large. I could just tell it's it'd be too big on my body. There was this sweatshirt or this sweater by the Coupos that I really liked, and it was on sale, but I don't know. It's really weird. I am not in the mood to buy stuff, and I think it's because literally just don't go out enough anymore. So. I'm almost to the point where like, unless I'm going out and I know I need an outfit or a specific thing that I don't have in my wardrobe, I'm not really enticed to purchase. Oh, I'm gonna show you guys this Moschino sh skirt with this sweater here. Okay, so this is that cute sweater and I absolutely love the skirt. I don't really think that they go together that well. Like they have the greens that match, but the purple doesn't match the skirt, but I think that's so cute. Honestly, it's adorable. And so is this outfit here on this mannequin. This, um... Oh, this is Giacomo's. That's really nice as well. You know, I think, like, with getting older, I... And especially after COVID, I don't know if you guys are the same as me, but I don't go out that much. So I'm not really... I really notice with, with the items I have, I'm not getting the wear out of them. And so, unfortunately, although I do want to buy everything, there's literally no point. Um, so here's Amina Mwadi. I seen these earlier. I don't know if you guys know, but they, supposedly um, these shoes have a lot of quality issues. But I would say they're beautiful for sure. How much are these? Thirteen hundred and sixty-five Canadian. This green is beautiful, though. Hey. There was a lot of nice things in here. It's just crazy the vibe from Holt Renfrew to the bay. How like in Holt Renfrew, there's people everywhere. It's really busy. It's a beautiful store, well laid out. Um, if you look at stuff, there's a salesperson that will like come up to you immediately. Here, I'm just like left on my own and nobody comes up to me, which I actually like. Like this is Tom Brown, which is, if you guys know, it's like very expensive. So the fact that it's just like, unattended is crazy this is thirty one hundred three hundred and seventy dollars for this sweater Tom Brown is very expensive not on sale they do have a Laya on sale this is very adorable but I feel like you have to be short to wear this isn't this just the cutest outfit oh my goodness I have a long torso so any one piece is yeah but look at this up to 70% and then extra 30%, so, I mean, it's expensive, 3,000, but is that, that's not the sale price. So I don't know what they're marked. Oh, here we go. So from 3,000, this is marked down to 917, and then you get 30% after on top of it. So if this is on the website and you are interested, you like the brand Alaya, 
check out thebay.com. I think today might be the last day. I don't know. But like these sales are insane. And um, I was at Holt Renfrew and at Nordstrom. They had no sales on these exact same brands. So yeah, it's just it's crazy. They even have Balmain on sale or Balmain, however you want to say it. They have a lot of things on sale. They have buy one, get one uh, free shoes, which is like insane. The whole thing is everything's just like, it feels overwhelmingly laid out. There are so many items and um, I feel like when things are very overwhelming, it's almost like you need so many hours to spend looking at things. This dress is really pretty from DKNY. I love this color. It's so beautiful for summertime. But see, I even have a gift card for here and I don't know what's up with me. I'm just not in the mood for shopping. Um, this is upstairs. I wanted to go check out the Homer stuff because um, I'm more into buying stuff for the house than purchasing for myself. Um, I don't know, I'm just, I think it's because I'm really not going out like I used to and to be buying all these clothes all the time to wear like one time maybe like once a year or something if it's, so, if it's something special it's just not worth it this brand is lipsy i remember when i was like 19 my friend she was really into fashion and she would shop online lipsy from a london and i remember her telling me about it and i've never really i've never seen it in canada so i actually had no idea they have stuff here, it's really cute. I can't believe how big this store is though. This is pretty. I like this color. See, everything's on sale, like up to 30% off. Um, this is really nice, but I can tell it's made of acrylic and I'm trying to learn my lesson not to buy acrylic sweaters anymore because they just don't last and they end up looking pretty bad quite quickly this is cute too what is this yeah this store is just packed of clothing like floor after floor and it is extremely overwhelming so many things on sale downstairs they had the most beautiful farm rio collection if you haven't heard of that brand, definitely check it out if you like colorful clothing. I absolutely love color, so the Farm Rio stuff is really cute and I was very tempted by it. But the whole thing is like, I'm just not going anywhere, so <laughs> there's no point in me buying like super cute dresses that maybe would get worn like one time in the summer and that's it. Okay, up here is very overwhelming as well. It's huge, this is all housewares. Oh my goodness, I just feel like I need to get out of the mall. My brain cannot handle all the stimulation. <laughs> it's insane here. There. And like, do you guys see how dead everything is? This is why all the stores in Canada are completely shutting. Like, you know, how can they sustain themselves when there's hardly any customers? And also, like the mall is very busy. This is pretty, pretty colors. Oh, Jessica Simpson. I didn't know she does home stuff. This is very pretty. If you have like a nice beach house, look how pretty. But um, yeah, actually the parking lot was really, really full and it was actually busier than I think I've ever seen it. The mall is very hopping, but the Nordstrom's is really busy actually, but the bay is just so dead. I literally have no idea how they, they're doing it. We currently have a Casper pillow and um, we really like it. I don't know if they're all the same though. So ours, oh yeah, ours unzips. Yeah, so what's cool is you can unzip the top layer and throw it in the wash. Um, so they definitely like go a long time. These baskets are very cute. Yeah, they have a lot of nice stuff actually for the house. 
Okay, so if you haven't been paying attention to Swarovski, I definitely would start because they have a really amazing collection out. As of like the last couple years, I think, um, I love those chunky earrings. I actually got some, some earrings recently. Oh, they match this necklace, this flower necklace. So see that bracelet in the middle? Those are what the earrings look like. And I just got those like maybe two months ago, a month ago or something. They're really cute. Swarovski has some really unique stuff out right now. Oh, these are them. But mine are actually like kind of pink. These ones are yellow. Just so pretty. What's really great about Swarovski too is um, even though it's not like gold or silver or anything, it is rhodium plated, so it doesn't tarnish. That's a cool ring. And yeah, they have really funky stuff out. I like these colored bracelets as well on the necklace. The green, green is just so in right now. I love green. Yeah, really, really pretty stuff. Definitely a great choice if you're looking for some jewelry, but you don't want to spend a fortune, but you want like well-made pieces. It's really good. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just checking out the colors here. Yeah, so I'm looking for like a kind of purpley color, but I don't see anything that is resonating. But these are all the colors, and then she was just showing me the new spring stuff, which these are actually the colors for spring summer this year. Seems more autumn though, to be honest. Okay, so I exited the mall and this is where it came out, or I exited the bay, but I want to get back to the mall, so like, how the heck do I do it? Okay, I'm gonna go this way. So this is, um, is this Scramble Street? Yes, this is Scramble Street, downtown Vancouver. And um, it's very busy, it's a Friday. Oh, I just missed the light, I guess I'll go this way. So this is looking down Georgia. And that is the Hotel Vancouver, off in the distance. So I'm going to go over to Nordstrom. This is looking down, Granville. And this is the bay, this is the building that I was just in. that building there, that tower, is actually a jewelry. Um, that's actually, I think, Vancouver's first high-rise, this building here. And it is like a jewelry kind of building. It's called Vancouver Block, but there's a lot of jewelers in there and like appraisers and stuff like that. But yeah, it's it's really cool inside and, and I was just really interested in it, Googled it, and then learned that it's, I think, Vancouver's first high-rise. So... I'll take you guys this way and show you. That's to the Sky Train, which is horrible. Do not recommend. Don't take it. Just take an Uber or taxi. But yeah. Vancouver, it's not raining for once, but it was raining. So that's how it always is here. And um, yeah. Which way should I go in? I'm gonna go in here. Hey guys, okay, so I made it out of the mall, obviously, and um, I went to check out a jewelry supply store. Uh, they were shot. I make jewelry, I don't know if you know. Um, I've kind of shared it on here, but I'm, I'm just not really ready to share it on my YouTube channel because I don't know if I want my YouTube and my jewelry line connected. Anyway, yeah, so they were shutting in 30 minutes. There were um, about four people waiting to talk to only two staff employees, and I needed to speak with them, so I just ended up leaving. And I am on my way to meet a friend at the keg in Surrey, and I am going a different route that I normally don't take, so I'm taking Highway 91. Normally I take Highway 1, and I can't believe how much faster it is because this is like 
the heat of rush hour we are in and I have been moving pretty good like it's been a little slow in patches but nothing like highway one like highway one you sit there and your car doesn't move a lot of times so it's pretty good like I'm moving really fast I don't really have too much to say anyways I was telling this lady at Sandro Sandro by the way is a brand that has gorgeous clothing I've never purchased any of their pieces before but feeling it the quality feels there and I would say like Maj is similar to Sandro in terms of the looks, the aesthetics. But in my opinion, a lot of Maj pieces can feel cheap, even though I love Maj and Maj has beautiful stuff. But the Sandro pieces feel quality. Like Sandro is a very nice brand. I really like Sandro. Um, I think they're a great brand if you're looking for really nice, elevated classic pieces to own in your wardrobe like you you really get like style with that brand you get something special something different and it everything is gorgeous and for what it is sure it's expensive but it's not overly ridiculous like you can get a nice dress at Sandro I think I've seen a few there was a really beautiful green one I'll put it up here for you guys if I find it because that, that one was so nice and I think it was like $450 or something which isn't bad for a gorgeous dress that's totally fine it's just the thing is for me am I even gonna wear this like maybe I'll wear it once and then that's the thing like I don't even I just don't want, <laughs> I want to buy these things like I do but I'm just not gonna wear them like I don't go out that much I'm gonna take this exit up here this is like an accident Okay, I'm gonna wrap this up. Thank you guys so much for watching. This video was very all over the place, but hopefully it was like, it was still entertaining and you, you enjoyed watching it. And I will see you in my next video.